I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. You've got to be kidding me. He's no friend of mine. That's why you came here to ask me about that guy? According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. I don't care what you saw. You weren't there. You don't know what happened. I realize that was an unpleasant time for you. We're not here to dredge up ancient history. Then why are you asking about him? John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. I did not agree to that. <laughs> why would he write down my name? It's obvious. You're important to him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... I'm so sorry, really. It's, it's such a shame. At least he went out with a bang, oh. right? Oh. Oh. Now, for that, we can all be grateful. You... you knew my father? Well, no, but judging by all the lovely people here, he must have been quite a man. Either that, or he left a lot of money. Excuse me? <laughs> <clears throat> Just saying. You know, he seems popular. <laughs> Much beloved. Whoa, whoa. What the heck? Seriously, Bruce? This guy's with you. I'm so sorry. I will handle this. Jeez, Bruce, that's quite a grip. Gonna leave a bruise for sure. What are you doing here? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. You do realize you don't give these at funerals, right? Of course you don't. It's okay. It's okay. Just keep it down. Gotta be quiet as church mice, right? It hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me. For settling the score with Zaz and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. 
things to many different people. One thing remains consistent throughout these stories. Whatever I said in Arkham, it doesn't matter now. The deal is off. I got into a lot of trouble for what we did, Bruce. You saw that place. Saw those doctors. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please? I've, I've got a lot riding on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. Not a chance, John. I don't know what you're mixed up in, but I am not getting involved. <sighs> Disappointing. <laughs> you know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. Just makes me want, uh, I don't know, lash out. Shh. We're here to mourn. Please, you shush me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. How dare you? That is enough. Either you calm down or I will personally drag you outside and teach you respect. That's it. That's right there. That's what I came for. Hmm. Sorry, Bruce. That outburst, it, it's antisocial, I know. Dr. Leland says I have a hard time handling rejection. I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd, though. Or so I thought. If I were you, I'd stay away from Riddler, John. He's dangerous. <laughs> well, you don't have to tell me twice, buddy boy. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. You mean his hole? You know where he is. No, not, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. Tell me where he is. I am not messing around, John. Oh, Bruce, I missed your fire. I really did. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. Do not get involved. When this clearly means so much to you. No, no. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll take care of this. Just meet my friends later. Like I asked. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us.
Me too, John. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. Unknown contact. What is it? That John guy from the funeral from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. Maury, huh? John thinks that Maury can get us Riddler's location. Do you believe him? Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Maury up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help? This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a crew. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Let me know if you have anything to share. There's a guy, calls himself John Doe. He's either a member, or he knows who is. That confirms some theories we had. Doe's a one-time patient of another member of the group. 